guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me. I am solo parenting today the whole day, but I'm bringing you along with me. This is the weekend before payday, the weekend when you don't have any money. So I'm gonna show you how I do shelf cooking the last week of every month. And for me, this is the funnest week. It's a lot of fun. It's where I look through my freezer, my fridge, and my pantry, and I try to come up with as many meals and make what we have go as far as we can without having to spend a lot at the grocery store. Okay, so what I do first is I look everywhere that I have food, freezer, pantry, and fridge. And then I try to make up meals in my head, look up stuff on Pinterest. There is a website, I'm blanking on the name. I haven't used it in a while, but basically you can type in a bunch of ingredients, random things, and it'll come up with recipes with those ingredients so you have meals to cook. It's so cool. I learned that from Jordan Page here on YouTube. Anyways, this is what I have come up with for the week. I bought this at Dollar General on clearance one time for like 50 cents, but I like it because I can play my breakfast, lunch, and dinner options for the week. And pretty much all of this I already have on hand, so it's not gonna cost me as much as I thought. All right, so for breakfast this week, I am planning on making banana muffins, bagels and cream cheese, I do have to buy bagels, chocolate muffins, cereal in the pantry and biscuits so this is stuff that I already had on hand I'm gonna make Shakeology banana muffins for me and my husband uh, these for the kids I also have these on hand um, we already have tons of cereal in the pantry okay so for lunches this week I'm gonna make homemade peanut butter and jelly circles which I will show you I took string cheese out of the freezer to thaw that I had for snacks I'm going to buy apples oranges and bananas um, at the store, I have stuff to make chicken salad sandwiches with relish, cream cheese. I need to buy bread, and then I love to just have roasted sweet potatoes. All right, and for dinner, one night we are going to do um, bacon, eggs, and homemade hash brown potatoes. I also have stuff for pancakes. I have a small frozen chicken and rice with frozen green beans. I have frozen salmon and like sandwiches with like cream cheese, arugula, and bagels. This night we're having um, friends over for Bible study, so we'll have a French onion casserole I have frozen. I'll probably pick up two Little Caesars pizzas, friends bringing dessert. I have a bunch of frozen corn, and I have a ton of frozen bread, so I don't have to really do much that night. Meal for Friday night, um, I have a stir fry veggie bag. I have tons of sausage. Uh, meat that I'm going to make homemade meatballs with eggs and breadcrumbs and I have tons of teriyaki sauce so we're gonna try to do like a Chinese stir-fry um, But basically that's it like I already have every meal until Friday and then I even have frozen meals for Saturday that I can grab at Saturday I'll probably wake up and go to Aldi immediately when they open because I know my house is gonna be a little bit bare Okay guys, I'm in my room. I had to escape my kids are being loud, but now that I have my week planned out, my goal for groceries is like $30 this week, which is convenient because Walmart pickup, your minimum is $30. That's really why I'm picking $30. So I am just gonna stock up on like produce, milk, bread, just the bare necessities to get us through the week because I have a lot of stuff I was able to plan with my shelf cooking. Uh-oh. Got your babies? Yeah. So how I'm gonna be shopping with Walmart this week is through an app called Drop. Thank you to Drop for working with me on this part of the video, but Drop is an app that I've had for probably over a year now. I saw it like on Instagram, but it is the easiest way to shop and get points back to use as gift cards. This is what the app looks like. I've had this for a while now. Um, I've used a gift card before, but currently I have 15,000 points. And so this is basically an app that you can use to shop all your favorite brands, but you get points back and can then use them for gift cards. So you see right there, what am I gonna be using today? Walmart Grocery. And so just by clicking on Walmart Grocery and shopping through this app, I'm gonna get 3,000 points, which is equivalent to $3. So you have to shop through the app. It's gonna take me to Walmart. And now I can load 
all of my groceries for the week. Okay, so these are all of the items that I'm gonna get, not too many this week, $33.71. This is all I'm gonna get. And they have one today between one to two. Sorry, I don't want you to see where I'm picking up at. <laughs> all right, so now I'm done and I'm going to allow substitutes, sure. And I'm gonna place the order and this is going through my card that it's also linked on my drop app. But the really neat thing about this app is that there's nothing time consuming with like scanning receipts. Um, it's all right here and you have to link your card for it to be able to work. So my debit card is linked and you can see that my past purchases, Tarbuck, uh, Tarbucks, <laughs> my past purchases at Target, Starbucks, they give me points and I don't have to do anything. I'm just swiping my card with these and I accumulate points. What's really cool is that you can use the shop page. You always need to check here before you buy something. Say I want to go shopping and I'm going to go to Maurice's and every dollar you spend you get 30 points and so instead of just shopping on their website you just click add this to your drop app and you shop through the link just like I did with Walmart and you get points this way and it is the easiest way to earn points. You're already going to be shopping anyways and you get those points added to your account. So I have partnered with drop for this part of the video to give away an assortment of reward points to my viewers for downloading the app today with the link and code below. Everyone will receive bonus points with using my link and code down below but an additional 50 people are going to receive rewards from five to twenty five dollars to use on the drop app all you have to do is download the app below with the link and the referral code I will put right here you have to link your card that's the only way that the app will work and then you are good to go all of this information I'm going to link down below but I really hope that you'll like this app it's a great way to earn money and points on things you were gonna buy anyway. Let me show you how to make these sandwiches. So I usually buy a whole loaf of bread and do this and freeze them and put them in the fridge and then the kids grab them whenever they're hungry. Right there. I mean right through. It's like wheat bread, whatever bread you want. Now the trick is to not put too much in the middle or it's gonna like it's not going to work. It's going to explode. Like it's going to come out of the side. And push. And it cuts it. Now you rip off the crust. And as you can see, this one I kind of put a lot, so it's kind of coming out, but if you don't, then it looks just like the Crustables that you can buy at the store, and this is way cheaper, and this is a lot healthier. You can make them healthier. You can pick your own peanut butter and jelly and bread. So I put these in Ziplocs, put them in the fridge. My kids take them and eat them, or I put them in the freezer and have them stored. You can bring these on road trips, um, in the car, picnics, like the easiest thing ever. Oh, y'all helping? Whoa, wait, some of this is dirty. Get all that out of the dryer and put it on the couch. All right, here's what the breakfast casserole looks like. If you are curious, go watch my video from last week. It's delicious. Okay, so I wanted to let y'all know about a really good deal on a rug. This is in my daughter's room. It's a six by nine and you're never gonna believe how cheap this rug was on Amazon. Now, it is thin, so I do need to get a rug pad eventually, but a six by nine, and they have other shades, 60 bucks. A six by nine rug, like, that's such a good deal. I'm gonna link it down below, but it's kind of too big for this room, but I got a big one in case this is another girl so that we can move the girls in my son's room because his room is really big, and so this big rug will work. But just letting y'all know. All right, where are we going? Uh, I don't know. To get the groceries. Oh. Okay, try it again. Where are we going? To the grocery store. To the grocery store. I'm going to get the Walmart 
pickup order. All right, we are back, and this was my little bitty haul for the week, $33. I'm really bummed. I thought these were going to be like the small ones, but it's okay. Oranges, apples, waffles, bread. My husband loves this coffee. It's like organic and it's only like $4 for this. So Uncle Chris's sweet potatoes, cream cheese, milk, bananas, creamer, and bagel. I'm going to put this up. My kids are going to take naps. Hopefully I can work. Um... Maybe watch a movie. Probably not, but we'll see. So we are going hiking without daddy. Mama, I, I know. Animals like to be cold. Oh. The animals are here. So Truett's been begging me to go hiking. Vera woke up from her nap, and that is what we're doing. The animals? Yeah, because. Because it's windy, so the animals are not here. Oh. Because... Did he We survived and <laughs> no accidents. We was it fun? Uh, yes. Yeah, they did really good. Vera I'm wanted me. Vera wanted me to carry her a lot, but we survived. Say underpants, everybody. Boys. Anyways, we're gonna go home, eat dinner, call it a day. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little vlog here. Stay tuned for next week's video because it's gonna be my $5 dinners video. Every first week of the month, $5 dinners. Make sure to check it out. Bye everyone.